I think I had a great reading month. A really great reading month. I had five star reads. I read new releases. I was able to completely immerse. I became an audiobook girly. So I read five books this month. They're all pretty good, but we'll start off with the least to the greatest for my five star reads. So unfortunately, Chain of Thorns. It's a 3.5 star for me. But in all honesty, in all honesty, I feel like it's gonna be five stars because it's the end of the series. But in my heart, it's a five star by default because it's the last book in the last hour series. I love the last hour series. I did a whole reread of Chain of Thorns and Chain of Gold to read Chain of Thorns. And I was so hyped up. Like I have a reading vlog coming out soon, but I had to stop filming the reading vlog just because I did not like how this book played out. It just had too many issues for me. The pacing was off. The pacing was weird. We are going through many people's point of views. There are many storylines happening in this book. And this is 778 page on thing the expert story and is officially like the longest book I've read this year. And I read it mostly audiobook. I did some annotations, but it just didn't give what it was supposed to give. I feel like we didn't get enough Jordelia. We just didn't. There was a death in this. Like there are so many spoilers that I can talk about that I feel like was not reliable. I'm just very annoyed with this. I do plan on composing all my thoughts to put into my Chain of Thorns reading vlog, but it's a 3.5 for like what it is. In my heart, it's a default five because I will always love the Last Hour trilogy. But this feels like it was like written weird. It never occurred to me that I would not be giving this book five stars ever, period. Never in my life did it occur to me that this would not be a five star read for me. Not as a default, but as like a full five star read. But it was odd, like a lot of our loose ends were tied up way too quickly. The plot was off, the pacing was off. Some parts of the book was too slow while some parts of it was too fast. It was just an unusual read. I feel like it's not done. Like I feel like there's gaps of knowledge missing from this book. I really hope she does a spin-off series for James and Cordelia because I feel like their story was not effectively done. I feel like Lucy and Cordelia's story isn't done either. Like Matt's story, uh, Matthew's story most certainly is not finished. And naturally I want more Anna in my life, but like I'm so mad that this isn't a five star read on its own. I don't want it to be a default five. I want it to be five stars within itself. I really hope she does a lot of like a bunch of like deleted scenes for this book because I feel like there's a lot of scenes that are deleted that shouldn't have been. And honestly, I would have loved if this book was two books or if it was just a fourth book to go on because I feel like there's so much work getting done in this book that there wasn't enough time to do it all in this book so it got rushed. So either make this book longer or come out with book two, like come out with another book, like the finale part two because this was just, it wasn't, it didn't scratch the itch. Like, don't get me wrong, I loved spending time with my last era characters. I adored it. They are my peoples. I did not like how it played out story-wise. It really bothered me. It made me very sad. I was like in a reading slump hangover. I wasn't like a book hangover, but like in a bad way, but like a good and bad way, because it was still great. Like, naturally, her writing is lovely. It's just the pacing and how the story played out with the plot and all the different POVs that just made it kind of messy, but she's still a great writer. And yes, I will still be reading The um, the Wicked of Powers, which is like the last trilogy to come out in the Shadow Hunter world. I don't want it to be over, but I know I'm not gonna like it as much as I liked The Infernal Devices and The Last Hours because Chain of Thorns, like, the Infernal Devices and the Last Hours trilogy was really like Muniki books for me. Like, they weren't modern. I don't really care for like urban fantasy that much. I love the Edwardian time, the Victorian times. So it was in my realm of love. The characters were so lovable. The plot was great. I didn't like the plot as much for Last Hours, but it's fine. I don't really go that much for the plot anyway. I go for the romance. Overall, I'm disappointed. It's not a five star within its own right. Next, naturally, I had to do a reread of both um, This Woven Kingdom for the new release of These Infinite Threads by Tahara Mafi. So all y'all know, all you might not even know, Tahara Mafi wrote the Shatter Me series. And that thing is good. I wish Moniki and 
YA Moniki got to read Shatter Me because she would have loved it. She would have ate that up. But naturally, I feel like with Tara Rocky's writing, book one is always four stars. Book two, three, four, five are always five star books for me, or at least like in the main series, not in the novellas. So, so I read This Woman Kingdom last year, gave it five stars, reread it this year again to prepare my heart for these infinite threads and I gave it four stars. This I naturally felt like was going to happen because that typically is how I feel about her first books. They're usually four star books for me. Last year it was a five star book because I don't know it was just really good. I was having a bunch of bad books back to back and this was one of the first books I read in 2022 and I had to give it five stars. And now this is one of my first books I read in 2023 and I still give it five stars. Note this, nothing really happened in this book like stuff happened but like there wasn't like a major climax not like how this book like popped off at the end but yeah i listened to both of these on audiobook and i think i enjoyed this one more on audiobook actually i feel like i could easily digest it through audio by the way i'm audiobook girly now and it is what it is like i have been itching for audiobooks because they have just been helping me do my work and be productive and I love being productive. I'm such a productivity babe. Anyway, this woman kingdom is about Alize. She is a djinn living in secret because she is the lost queen of an entire djinn kingdom. And she works as pretty much what they consider a maid slash slave. And yeah, that's how she lives. That's how she makes her living. But in reality, she's a queen and she's in hiding until one day she accidentally bumps into the prince and she has this moment with him and she ends up on the king's radar and there's a prophecy that says that she will be the reason that he dies or that he's like dethroned or something so this whole plays out in a beautiful story this is a persian retelling or inspired by a persian retelling and it is good okay it is in this first book the first book is a love it's like an enemies to lovers type thing and it's just an adventure this beautiful fantastical adventure very pixar like in the imagery for these books but in this book not only is it enemies to lovers but it's like forced proximity and it becomes a love triangle and like honestly move over aaron warner because cyrus has entered the chat if you've read shadow me you know you know the aaron warner but let me introduce you to cyrus king cyrus because he's pretty much aaron warner older with a kingdom and a little bit more tormented in his life Whew. It's giving Grumpy X Sunshine. It's giving Next Book Better Be Five Stars. Why isn't it here yet? It's giving. It has major potential to break me in the next book. Like, nothing really happened in this book except for their love, like, growing and building. And honestly, I feel like Endgame is Cameron, which is the prince from this kingdom in this book. But I can honestly say that I'm. I'm Team Cyrus as of this moment. I felt like it was very insta love in this book. She, Prince Cameron is the prince in this book and they are two riv rivaling nations. So King Cyrus, Prince Cameron. So Prince Cameron had this little moment with her but it was very insta love. But here, I feel like it's not as insta love. And if you guys know me, I just don't care for insta love. I think it's kind of, Pointless. I love seeing the chemistry build between two characters instead of it just being like, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with you. But five stars. Five stars. Five stars in the past, four stars in the present, five star in the current. May end up being four stars in the past, in the future. But for right now, it's five stars in my heart. And I still want to do a reading vlog for you guys. It's going to be like this mini wannabe reading vlog because I read these two books and I devoured them. I gobbled them up. I could not record for you guys when that happened. And then the next day, I had this horrible panic attack. And thank you guys for joining me on my bookstore vlog and enjoying that vlog so much because I had such a bad day that day. And that was the day I was supposed to film this reading vlog. I still plan on filming a reading vlog for this, but... That should come out in the next few weeks. It's gonna be an automatic buy for book three and 
honestly I don't know how she's gonna finish this whole story in one book because this is only supposed to be a trilogy because I feel like we need way more way more book to finish off all the craziness that's happened in book one and book two plus these books are really pretty so more books make it a series not a trilogy please the next book I started was Cruel Illusions. It is a vampire circus romance. And I kept DNF in it, honestly. I really got like, I think 16 or 20 pages in consistently, and I just kept forgetting about it. I didn't care to go back to it. So far, I think I might listen to it on audiobook, so it's not like a hardcore DNF, but yes, I definitely DNF'd it. And this is my beautiful, I think, fairy loot edition. Look at those sprayed edges. It's gorgeous, but. I don't know, it just didn't do anything for me. It just didn't excite my soul or make me happy or... I only read 25 pages though. So, yeah. Look at the cover! Plus, I just had better books, I feel like, on my palette that I was just more anxious to read. Like, Chain of Thorns, you can't compete. Um, a Tahara Mafia book, you can't compete. Maybe I'll read this one eventually, but for right now, it's staying DNF'd. And then the next book I was supposed to read it in the month of February because it is indeed the love month and I'm getting into my manga era 2023 manga me and it's orange. This is supposed to be a sci-fi time travel, maybe not time travel, I don't know. I haven't read it yet so I don't fully know the synopsis but I know it's um sci-fi romance, fantasy, and this is supposed to be a bestseller in Japan, over 1 million copies sold. It's supposed to be heart-wrenching and when I put this on my TBR for February and I put it on TikTok, one person told me that it's gonna make me really sad so I kind of really want to read it now. I love it when my books break me because what? There's like no other emotion like being broken by a book. Like there's something very long-lasting about it like you'll follow through your rest of your life with it and it's like the most bittersweet but amazing experiences of art and it's one of the re reasons I read. I, I honestly thought Train of Thorns was gonna break me but it broke me kind of like in the most wrong way but not like in the best way because I wanted more and I just didn't have it and I feel like I'm just really disappointed in it. I will keep talking about it. I'm disappointed. It won't stop me from rereading it or spending time with more last hours cast but wow I feel like I feel like it was rushed. And you know what? It makes sense because I think Chain of Thorns was written during that time in the pandemic when everything was like cuckoo could shoe madness. So honestly, if I, if I was writing and making art in that season two, it wouldn't be probably my best work or it would either be my best work, my neutral work, or my not so best work. But I'm excited for Orange. I plan on doing a reading vlog on it because I really want to read it. And this month I launched my candle business. So in actuality, I didn't have a lot of time to read this month. I had so many issues launching Aroma Art. My website wasn't working. I had issues with my taxes. It was so annoying setting up taxes for a business in a different state while you work and produce your manufacturer in another state. It was a mess. And Shopify was mine. Um, but we finally got it. Aroma Art is now live. You can use my code MoMareadsit to get 15% off of your order. And I'm so happy, you guys. Like, just being able to launch my shop made February so lovely dovey for me. Next book that is a carry or for is War Girls. So. I picked this up. I so far has read to about page 16. Nothing's really happened yet. We're still at the scene setting part. So I don't really have high level thoughts about it. I may DNF it. I may not because I'm in a very specific mood reading phase right now. But I'm excited for this. It is a, it is a post-apocalyptic Nigeria plagued by violence and political unrest. Two sisters dream of peace hope and a future together and they're willing to fight an entire war to get this so this is inspired by like actual history of the war in nigeria so i really wanted to read this it's sci-fi it's sisterly bonds it's it's inspired by like actual historical events and it literally has badass women that are cyborgs 
It's a cyborg badass women book, which I love. I rarely see cyborgs as women, typically, except for like in Avengers, I believe. I think there's a cyborg woman in Avengers. But typically in books, you don't see it. Typically, I don't see cyborgs at all in books. Then again, I don't read as much sci-fi as I read fantasy romance, so I probably don't come across it as much as I probably really would if I read that genre more. I have nothing against sci-fi. I just tend to pick up fantasy quicker. This is also a sci-fi read that I'm planning on bringing into March, but I'm also in my audiobook era, so I'm not entirely sure about that because I really just want to read books through audiobook, and that book definitely does not have an audiobook. I checked. Next book is Mermaid Moon. So this is a mermaid sea life medieval book and there's like some mystery happening right now but i've gotten about 42 pages in i don't know what has kept me in this book but this is a daughter longing to find her mother she is a mermaid her mother her mother was a human that gave birth on land but she had this magical spell cast i think on her and her family and everyone that was involved and they forgot like her mom and the story of her birth and everything so she's on the journey to find her mom on land so she has come on land as a mermaid it's getting very much little mermaid vibes in that sense but so far there's no romance it's just like a mother daughter bond book and i've been getting into it I have no deeper plans it's a carryover but this was a gift from one of my friends and she really likes mermaid books and i don't think she even read it yet but she was like here's a mermaid book i thought of you i was like oh you. my mermaid book for me and those are all the books i read in the month of february it was the love month i had a really good month i launched my brand i had five star reads i read a bunch of new releases so far i think i've already read maybe five new releases chain of thorns these infinite threads stolen air the heart the heart of the sun warrior i think that's it that's four new releases i think that's pretty good i think that's pretty darn good what you guys read this month how do you guys feel about chain of thorns does anyone read it Please talk to me about it down below in the comments because I need to talk to someone about Chain of Thorns because it has given me such a bad book hangover that I don't even want to edit my Chain of Thorns reading vlog. Anyway y'all, happy reading, be sure to subscribe, and remember I'm here every Friday, and shop for Walmart. We're live. Remember, Mo reads it for 15% off your order. Happy reading y'all, bye.